I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. Basket of Wessex, land of plenty. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. I have carved a furrow through this teeming land, and the skulls sing loud of my deeds. Those who boast have something to prove. The great have no need for it. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised.
Eivor! Eivor! My second favorite Norse! Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. Eivor has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Brother and Brodo. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! He's been moping since the wedding. There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Like these two fine fellows. Broder and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. Basim, good to find you here. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her, alive. That is the best news we could hope for. And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. You'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. Guthrum Jarl, your second Soma talked often of you and your conquests. They are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. That sounds glorious. A living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face and their pleas become a senseless blare? Where did Toshin die? On a field or in a marsh? We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. You wear the scars of battle, and not only on your skin. The needle of loss becomes blunt once you have been pierced enough. But enough of that. Scout in this hill. I smell blood on the air. Death is close. Someone has to scout before me.
Survey the area, Sunan. road is a scout.
Need your eyes, my friend. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I have a method, Guthrum. And though you may not see it, it has served me well. If your method is to risk hundreds for the sake of one, then you are right. I don't. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was... than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight. <laughs> Head is mine! 
Not if I get there first, slow hours. Leave him! The day is already won! deities like a plague to this land but you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate I decide your fate today Saxon I am ready for my final journey let me see what lies beyond when you see your god tell him I sent you <laughs> He is dead, Eivor. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. Yeah. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. 
We will leave immediately. Besides, they're men of Vesex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildeford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley, food in Gildeford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildeford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uber, I apologize. I would, I would have liked to offer. I'm only sorry we could not be here. Uba Ragnarsson, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Eivor Wolfkiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. I'm only sorry we could not be here soon. Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fair is Grandabridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver gilded and iron clad. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. We'll set off as I soon as we're able. Still. 